Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going over yet another Python Easter egg. This is the double under hello module uh, and the associated modules that are named similarly. Um, let's jump into it. Okay, so this module is a very special module. Uh, it is the easiest way to implement hello world in Python in that um, you just execute this module and it prints out hello world. And you might ask, um, well, where's the source code for this? Um, and if you to import hello uh, and if you look at this module it is actually a very special type of module it is a frozen module uh, frozen module has uh, it, what a frozen module essentially is is it's bytecode that's directly written in c uh instead of a python file and so it, it allows you to distribute essentially pure python but as c code i don't know there's there's a few uses of it in the standard library one is this module which is a test module for frozen modules uh, there's also the import lib machinery, which is also a frozen module. And interestingly enough, this was actually present in the very, very first commit of Python. So if you go all the way back to uh, 1995, uh, or at least in the Git history, there were there were revisions of Python before that. Uh, but if you look at initial revision here, uh, this contains git show. Uh, this contains the hello module. And you'll see here, this is the, uh, you know, the, the byte code that represents this particular module. Uh, in order to test the support for frozen modules, by default, we print as, uh, we define a single frozen module, double under hello, loading it will print some famous words. And uh, this byte code here, if you were to disassemble it, I wonder if you can use the disassembler on this. This dot dis, hello. Oh, you can, look at that actually quite a lot of code in here um oh this is this doesn't look like the uh <laughs> this looks like the import machinery for frozen modules not the actual uh frozen module itself so i don't actually see the um the the hello world in here oh huh. anyway i guess this is not this is not the module uh but presumably you could grab this byte code right out a uh, bytes object and, and figure it out from that. Um, I'm not going to bother, but <laughs> you probably could and then disassemble it and see how it's implemented. Um, there are also a couple of modules that are related to double under hello. One of them is the p hello package. Um, Python 3-c import. So I have to actually do import p hello here. Uh, PLO is a sub package, or it's it's a package package, so it's a thing that contains an init.py. However, it doesn't actually contain an init.py because it's also frozen in C in the same way. Uh, and there's actually phello.spam, um, which prints hello world twice, interestingly. Uh, and these two modules, git long dash capital G phello and python frozen.c, these are added shortly after to support uh, frozen packages instead of just frozen modules. And so that was added in 1998, again, as another test module here. Um, but yeah, really long history and also the kind of a, a neat way to show Hello World. You know what? Let's try and, uh, let's try and look at the actual bytecode for this. Cause I think, I think we could probably do it. Uh, bytes, paste, uh, yeah, so that's our bytecode there, uh, bytecode equals bytes, I think you can disassemble bytecode, dis, dis, dot, dis, bytecode, bytes, bytes code, <laughs> yes, you can indeed, uh, <laughs> it looks like it didn't, decode it properly. So perhaps this is not quite the proper bytecode here. Uh, yeah, this looks completely wrong. Oh, maybe it's in different endianness than I expect. Oh, well, anyway, that would be how you would do it if you could find the right version of this. Oh, maybe it's in UCS4? You can see the, the L world string here. So that's, that's, uh, that's part of it for sure. Uh, and you can see hello.py, which is the actual module object here. Maybe it's a pickle. Import pickle, pickle.loads, bytecode. No, anyway, <laughs> there's there's some way to do this. Um, CPython probably has more details. I don't really know about froze models, so anyway. Uh, but hopefully this was useful. Hopefully this was interesting. A nice, nice, easy way to 
you know, give yourself hello world. <laughs> but if there are additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.